Hey, Diego, thanks for coming on today, man. How you doing? Yeah, excited to be here. Thanks yeah, no, for having me. The pleasure is all mine. So uh, I guess we'll just jump right into this. Uh, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about your background? Sure, sure. So my name is Diego, Diego Mariscal. I'm originally from Mexico, and it's actually funny how we m met each other yeah. on a bus, um, yeah, yeah. which I think it's a pretty cool story. Absolutely. Um, um, as you can see, I'm like very extroverted, and I love talking to people. Um, and you know, with that, um, I grew up in Mexico, and and with that same sort of openness and extrovert mentality, I guess I started to talking to a bunch of people in Mexico. And, and um, we became really frustrated about the fact that nobody was learning about disability. Um, and the reason why disability was very important to me is because um, I was born with a disability. You probably can't tell by me just sitting here, but I actually have cerebral palsy, um, which makes it hard for me to walk. And so I grew up really frustrated about the fact that nobody was learning about disability, specifically students. Um, and so I started an initiative in high school that was all about educating students about disability. And so we would do things like eating without being able to see or using public transportation in a wheelchair or communicating without speaking. And that, um, that program became extremely successful. We went from one high school to five to 15. And then um, I decided to move to the US for college and I continued that work. Um, and we officially became a 501 organization. And we've sort of deviated from that initial programming um, that I mentioned, but still focusing a lot on, on disability and disability empowerment. And most importantly, looking at disability as kind of an identity and um, something that people can be proud of. Uh, and our most recent work focuses around entrepreneurship and disability and sort of using that resilience and innovation that people with disabilities have um, for business and for business innovation. That's amazing. And the organization is? The organization is called Together International. So it's, it's a great organization, has been going on for a while, and I'm really proud of a lot of the work that we've done. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Uh, the second question that I wanted to lead off of is, uh, what do you want the world to know about people with disabilities? So I think the most important thing that, um, that I strive to communicate in everything that we do is that people can be proud of their disability. Um, you know, when, when I talk to people who don't know what I do or, or just kind of just random people on the street, they're like, oh, I'm so sorry that you have a disability or I'm so sorry that you were born you know, with cerebral palsy. And that is very frustrating to me because it's like, it's like if somebody was Latino and was very proud of being Latino and somebody came up and was like, oh, I'm so sorry, you're Mexican. Or, I'm so sorry, you're like, you know, so it's, 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 a, it's a very, um, very frustrating experience. Of course. To be fair though, like not everyone is proud of their disability so that, so, we have to acknowledge that. Um, but I think, you know, the more um, we talk about disability as an identity that somebody can be proud of, um, the better we're going to be at, at uh, talking about disability and inclusion and diversity and all that jazz. Absolutely, man. And I think it's amazing that you have used this as a tool for growth, you know, to, for change. And that's, that's admirable, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the next thing I want to ask you is, um, so let's imagine a student is interested in entrepreneurship and he's just asking for one minute of advice. What, what would you say to him or her? So most time, most of the time when it comes to entrepreneurship, the question people ask is like, what are you motivated by? What is your dreams? You know, the, the, like, what are you, what excites you? I would flip it and I would say, what pisses you off? because that is really kind of where you get people talking um, and where you can find real innovation. I was pissed off about the fact that um, I, I joined an organization in Mexico and they would split people with disabilities and people without. And the people without disabilities were the volunteers and the people with disabilities were the quote unquote participants. And so we were like the charity case that needed to be taken care of. 
And that model like pissed me off. Mm. That was sort of the reason why I was like, no, 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 we got to educate people and they got to see that like, we can do our own thing. We don't need to be babysit. Like we don't need babysitters, yeah. you know? And so that really kind of was the motivation behind my work. And so really, I think as entrepreneurs, you got to ask yourself, what pisses you off and what are you going to do about it? That's an interesting question. Um, just to jump on that and to close for this interview, what are some interesting developments on this topic that you think viewers should know about and how can people get involved and spread awareness? So on what topic though? On disability, on disability entrepreneurship, on both? On... Yeah, you know, let's do both. We talked about, we talked Absolutely, about yeah. <laughs> for sure, yeah, let's do both. Um, I think on disability and entrepreneurship specific and, and sort of business and, and, and disability, I think being keenly aware that including people with disabilities um, in entrepreneurship and business in general is going to make businesses better. And the reason why it makes businesses better is because people with disabilities are inherently great at problem solving. We have to problem solve from the moment we wake up. You know, we have to figure out like how we're going to get dressed, how we're going to drive, how we communicate, how we do, you know, things like that. And so, and we are inherently faced with challenges all day long. And so um, we know how to problem solve. And so that's what a lot of startups um, need. And that's what a lot of businesses need. And so um, utilizing that, that innovation, creativity that people with disabilities have to advance business business agendas i think it is really critical i would i would say though that it's really important that um employers are sort of trained on how to do this and how to to utilize disability to their advantage um because sometimes there can be assumptions or there can be um i would say like not inappropriate but but maybe like you don't know how to approach a person with disability or you don't know how to utilize their disability as a strength. And so making sure that, um, that employers and, and people in the startup community are reaching out to resources like Together International to get more information, uh, I think it's critical. Um, so that's on the, on the disability and entrepreneurship side. And on the disability side and the disability identity side, um, recognizing that disability is a part of human diversity and that it's it's a beautiful experience and that it adds economic and social value to, to society. Um, and what, what, because oftentimes I get asked like, what can non-disabled people do? What non-disabled people can do is make sure that disability is a part of the conversation. Um, I was, I was doing a, um, a, a workshop the other day had nothing to do with disability but because i brought disability into the conversation and i made it part of the conversation everybody in the room came came out um, with an invisible disability and so that's an example oh, of yeah. had okay. nothing to do with disability um but because i brought it up everyone felt comfortable and started to talk about their own disabilities and so everyone has a role to play you that's know? so interesting diego yeah, so uh, I hope that was useful. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Yeah, no, I, you know, I've told so many people about your organization, and, and I just will continue to do that because I think it's amazing, the, this initiative that you established. Uh, I think many yeah. people need to know about this. So uh, if well, people want to contact you and get involved, what's the best way? What's social media? What's... Yeah, so we're, we're all over the place, Facebook, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Um, I can even say, like, my personal email is just... Diego at together with the number two dash international.org is a little bit long. We're actually working on like shortening. You know, <laughs> okay. Um, Sounds good. A little bit long, but uh, yeah, feel free to reach out. You can put my, imp my information in the, in the description or comments below and I'm happy to continue the conversation. Absolutely, man. Yeah. I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for this interview. It was fantastic. No, thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. All right. Talk to you soon. Awesome. Ciao.